Hey Super Awesome Stampers, this is Super Awesome Stamper Shirley. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I would like to share with you Scrapbook and Sunday. This is a two page 12 by 12 layout that the guests made on Saturday at Scrapbook in a Day. I would like to share with you the punches that I used and also the other supplies that were needed to create this layout. So we have three top note shapes. It's cut with our top note Biggs die. I like this die on this layout because the perforations mimic the stitching on a teddy bear. Or I know this guy looks like a raccoon. What happened with this layout was the card, this is the card that I created and was the inspiration for the layout. So when I used our Stampin' Up! Retired Googly Eyes, it does look like a bear. But when I use the Owl Builder to make the eyes, I think it looks like a raccoon now. So I might have to change that, get a little bit of white in there. All right, um, the teddy bear or the raccoon was not my invention. I went to Pinterest and I found a punch art recipe card. Lisa Bullock posted a recipe card that was similar to this. So a recipe card simply shows the punches that you need and how to cut those shapes down to make an image. So there it is. I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to quickly go through all the punches that were needed to create this layout. So we need two of the sweetheart punches. One here and one that's right down in the corner here. Alright, to finish the teddy bear, we need two of the owl builders with the full body shape. We needed the oval punch to cut out his snout, which is right there. I use the scallop circle from the ADBD Retired Punch Pack. You can certainly substitute the 3 8 inch circle punch. It's the same size, it's just a circle and not scalloped. Four half, inch is, four half inches of the circles. You need two for the feet and two for the ears. And one and three eighths circle goes behind the heart uh, for the body. And the last punch that I used was our hearts border. I cut uh, hearts right here and here, and then the hearts that were popped out, I placed right here so I don't have any scrap. The other supplies that I used would be our black chevron ribbon. The rose red seam binding is retired. And then the baked brown sugar designer series stack pack along with the rose red stack pack. Rose red cardstock and baked brown sugar cardstock in the back. Thanks for watching. This is Super Awesome Stamper Shirley with Scrapbook and Sunday. Bye.